number 16 here, I see we have a parabola, and more specifically, I see that we have labeled points. So I already have three points labeled. Technically, I could take my two x-intercepts as well, but there's three points. The reason that's important is they give us a function, but there's a bunch of letters, and they want to know what b and c are. Remember that not only just lines, but parabolas and exponentials, I can pull up Desmos. On Desmos, to graph this function, we're going to go ahead and throw a table in here, and I'm going to plug in my three main points. That looks like it's going to be negative 2, negative 6, and then in the middle there, negative 1, negative 8, and finally, uh, a 0 for our x, and a negative 6. Remember, for these curved lines, you're usually going to want three points to make sure it works. I go ahead and I click Add My Regression. Let's go ahead and pull Desmos up a little bit further here. And I can see right now it's on linear. We're going to have to change linear to quadratic because this is a parabola. And there is my function. There is my equation. 2x squared plus 4x minus 6. Let's go ahead and write that down up above so we remember. 2x squared plus 4x minus 6. Let's go ahead and hide Desmos now and finish it. So they want us to do... Uh, what b and c are and what is the value of b times c so i can see that my b value is four my c value is negative six so b times c or four times negative six is going to get us negative 24. super easy to do in desmos